Part 2, Introduction to Accounting. It is very important for any business to keep track of where its money is at any time and to use that money to make the best possible profits. Many good businesses fail because of poor financial management. Recording cash transactions of a trader. Lesson This treasure hunt is given to you in the book Fun EMS Grade 8. If you don't have the book, take screenshots now so that you can follow the questions and answers and they will make more sense. Have fun! Four point one. This treasure hunt is designed to check if you can remember what you learned last year in grade eight. If you haven't already done the exercise in preparation for this lesson, please pause the lesson and go and work through the exercise in your book before returning to mark your work. Question one. What business are these accounting records for? They are the records for Salon Emma, which you can easily see by looking at the headings in the general journal and general ledger. Two, for what period were these transactions recorded? In other words, when were they for? They were for February 2010. You can see this in the heading of the journals or inside the general ledger individual accounts. Three, what amount was deposited directly into the business bank account by EFT and why? It was 20,000 Rand for capital deposited by the owner. If you look in the cash receipts journal, there are two clues to this. The first is if you look in your documents column, you can see an EFT entry. Secondly, you can also see that the amount went directly into the bank account and did not get recorded in the analysis of receipts column, showing that the money was never physically received by the business. Four. What receipt number was issued to P. Williamson and why was it issued? It's receipt number 016 for rent. If you look in the cash receipts journal, you simply look in the details column to find the entry for P. Williamson and then you can see the receipt number in the documents column and if you look in the sundry accounts, you can see that it was 4,000 Rand for rent income. Five. What amount did the business deposit into the bank account on the 28th? 11,000 Rand was deposited. You can see this by looking on the 28th in the CRJ. Don't be misled by the 4,000 Rand that you see as P. Williamson that you just used. You've got to remember that you would also have deposited the 7,000 Rand that also was received on the 28th. If you look in the bank column, you can see the total of 11,000 Rand, and that is the answer that you are looking for. 6. Who supplied the business with equipment? EC Equippers supplied the equipment. You can find this by looking in the cash payments journal. Look for the equipment entry, which is in the middle, and you can see it in sundry accounts. Um, and then you can see in the details that this equipment was bought from EC Equippers. Number seven. When did Emma draw cash for her own use? She drew it on the 22nd of February, 2010. Again, looking at the cash payments journal, you can find the entry for drawings shown on the 22nd. And here you can see there's Emma Williamson with 10,000 Rand for drawings. Number eight. What check number was used to pay Trisha's suppliers on the 27th? It was check 134. Look in the cash payments journal in the day column for number 27 and then you can immediately see that the document is 134. You should realize that because this is in the cash payments journal, it would have had to be a check unless it was an EFT payment. In this case, the document number is given, so you would assume it is a check. Number nine. What was the cost of the land and buildings? The owned cost of the land by this business is 150,000 Rand. You would see this by looking in the general ledger to find out how much land and buildings there is owned at this time. There's no entry in the cash receipts or cash payments journals, and so you would need to go and look at the general ledger. Number 10. How much money was available to the business on the 1st of February 2010? 
the answer is 12,000 Rand. This is a slightly trickier question. You have to realize that the money available to the business is not necessarily the total amount invested by the owner, as it might already have been used for something else. Instead, you need to look at the bank account in the general ledger. The question specifically asks for how much was available on the 1st of February, in other words, at the beginning of the month. If you look in the debit side of the bank account, at the beginning, at the top of the debit side, you can see that the balance brought down was 12,000 Rand. Number 11. What account number has been allocated to material costs? The account number allocated is N3. To find this, you would look at the material costs account in the general ledger, and at the top of the account on the far right hand side, you can see N3. The allocation of account numbers is a general thing that can, the business can choose how they want to allocate the account numbers. It could be a number, it could be a series of letters, they could call it for example E3 to indicate that it is an expense. It is simply a system used by the business, chosen for whatever suits the business best so that they can easily find the accounts and refer to those accounts. Number 12. Now you've got to think a little bit more carefully. Why do you think Emma contributed an extra 20,000 Rand this month? She would have had to contribute the extra cash so that the business was able to buy the equipment. You would have need to analyse the records a little bit more carefully here and notice that 15,000 Rand was spent on equipment during February and therefore the money would have needed to come from somewhere and not enough was earned from sales or from current income that month. Number 13. If rent income is a fixed monthly amount, when was the extra office space first let out to the tenant? It was first let out four months ago, in other words, on the 1st of November 2009. To be able to work this out, you needed to analyse the rent income account rather carefully. If you are told that the rent is 4,000 Rand a month or a fixed monthly amount, you would figure out that it's 4,000 Rand by looking at the February entry and then you can work backwards to say the 16,000 Rand at the end of the month shows that the business had let out that office for four months previous to the end of February and working backwards you would find this as the 1st of November. 14. Do you think the drawings taken out by Emma is reasonable given the profits made by the business? In this case, no. She drew 70,000 Rand in this period looking at the trial balance. However, if you work out the profits, you can see that she only earned 39,000 Rand. You would calculate this by taking the current income of 72,000 Rand adding the rent of 16,000 and subtracting the expenses of material costs 40,000 and admin costs of 9,000 to get a profit of 39,000 Rand. Alternatively, you could also have looked at the drawings for this month of 10,000 Rand compared to the earnings this month and you might have come across a slightly different figure. For this month, yes, she have, has earned enough. However, in the total period, she hasn't.